heavyweight main event, Sean. Troy Artilles versus Daquan Fuse, whose nickname is Fuse. So easy to remember. That is a rad name. <laughs> That's a, that if is you, a rad if name. If your name is Daquan Fuse, then you don't really yeah. need a nickname. Yeah, no, you either, a name like that, you either get into music or you get into fighting. And Daquan Fuse chose fighting. Yeah. I can take this uh, uh, crisscross all day long if they don't mind playing that all night. If, zoom, zoom, if, zoom, the, zoom. If, if the cage is clear and the crowd is set, I believe we're waiting on them in the back to pitch just a couple seconds before Blake Chadwick brings out the big guys. Heavyweight main event. You don't see too many of those here in uh, amateur sports, really. Amateur MMA, you don't see a whole lot of... Uh, you, don't, you don't see a lot of big boys. That I heavyweights don't hang out long. But tonight we're going to be to a treat. Troy Ortiz, another guy who's 0-2, is quite deceptive. Uh, the last XFN, he did uh, win a boxing match against Mikey Mondelli. So, um, so he did he did taste victory his last time in an XFN cage. Daquan Fuse out of Riviera Beach Jupiter Boxing Club. We know what they turn out. They turn out good fighters. They could turn out good fighters. Always fight style bumping, bumping. Now Troy, interesting enough, he's a blue belt. Mm -hmm. Been training in jiu-jitsu since he was nine. Wrestled uh, number one ranked Florida high school wrestler. Trains out of his home. Him and Riley Boomer. That's right, Riley Boomer and a couple other guys. Training out of their home. Oh, and we'll, uh, we'll see how the home training paid off. Weighing in at 241, he's giving up almost 20 pounds. Coming in leaner, though. He, he, I, I, I asked him uh, if he dropped some weight since the boxing match with Mondale. He said he's about, about 10, 12 pounds lighter. So he slimmed up intentionally for this fight. He said he was put in the road work. He said he knew it was going to be a uh, storm to weather. And uh, he thinks that his cardio will make all the difference in the second and third round. And you know what? That's What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told my guys. Cardio is a weapon. Cardio. The first four skills you have to learn, or first what are they four. again? Cardio, 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 cardio. Mm -hmm. And then technique. Right. But more importantly, the most important guard you can learn in MMA, in combat sports, is right guard. Don't be stinky. Do not be stinky. Please, this is a service announcement. Indeed, Put indeed. Put on deodorant. Do. Wash yourself. That's what combat Wash sports Wash yourself. Are. The only thing more important than your shower after jiu-jitsu is your shower before jiu-jitsu. Yep, and I think it's time. It's time to All go. All right, we're getting word from the truck. It's time to get it going. And I think it's time for Blake Chadwick to get this party started. Heavyweight main event, UF XFN 32 on Flow Combat. Blake Chadwick, if we're ready, I'm ready. At that. Nope, microphone's dead. Wesley Golden hit some jumping jacks in there. Wesley Golden will be our main event uh, referee this evening. What a good looking guy that new Papa is. Good looking guy, beautiful wife, good looking kid. Who's got it better than Wesley Golden? We do. We're, we're, yeah, getting, yeah. we're, we're getting to call fights yeah. on Flow Combat. That's who's got it better. Relax, got the best seats in the house. Oh yeah, best seats, best TV in the house. Having a little bit of a technical difficulty. It's all right. These things happen. This is real life. We'll do it live. It's live television, pal. We'll do it live. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> what a great oh, no. venue, though, that Renegades has been. We've been here a few times. Oh, yeah. Also, also free line dancing lessons. Um, throughout the week, if you want to come in here, free to all levels. I don't think I don't feel like a little tush push. I don't I don't feel like you actually need lessons in line dance. A little I watermelon just, crawl. Okay, I, well then you show me how to do the achy breaky right now. Well, no, what I'm saying can is can you boost good boogie? I think you can just can you slap leather? Line. Can you electric slide? Okay. Well, I I'm not saying I am a choreographer, <laughs> but what I'm saying is. You follow the line, it repeats a couple times. Yeah. If you don't get it by the second time. Get out. Get out of the way. You obviously never work tables at Lone Star Steakhouse, and it shows. Shout out Oxford, Alabama. 
on Friday night. I would eat there. I <sighs> like steak. Oh, it's good. It was. I am craving a nice either a ribeye or a mm. prime rib right now. Mm. You know what that means, don't you? That means that you're a man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that means. Carnivores. Now that you mention it, I, I am too as of right now. A bit peckish. No, no, he's craving a ribeye rib specifically ah. as of right now. I, you know what? I wasn't, but now I am. I prefer a nice blue cheese mm. cr crust. On a filet, huh? Oh, my gosh. No, I'll put it on anything. Sure. Sure. Yeah, what I eat with my with, with my, with my uh, prime rib, mm -hmm. obviously horsey. Got to go horsey. Of course. Of course. But my ribeye, mm -hmm. ketchup. I'm looking for a good au point to stop it. Get out of here. Go ketchup. away. I'm looking for it a good au point. perfect condiment. If anyone out there knows where I can find there a is good steak like au going at live, ATT is there, folks? Let me know. All right. West Palm Beach, Florida. Renegades. Thank God. Everyone watching worldwide on Flow Combat. Are we ready for the main event? Worldwide. Worldwide. Worldwide, baby. The big boys are set to play here inside the cage. Let's bring out our first fighter for our heavyweight main event. He is fighting out of the blue corner. Please welcome Troy Artiles. Again, Troy Artiles coming in a good bit lighter than usual. Blue belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Gym affiliation, non-applicable. Uh, high school wrestler training win, as we said, with Looney, uh, not with Looney, I'm sorry, with, 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 with Boomy, uh, Boomer. Jesus Christ, I'll get it right sooner or later. Training with Boomer and a bunch of other high school wrestlers in the garage. Um, this will not be his first time in the XFN cage. He is a gamer. He did not look in too bad a shape in that boxing match. Now, boxing cardio, much different than MMA cardio, obviously. But if he, once again, looking noticeably, noticeably leaner, dedicated some time to road work, cardio, cardiovascular condition, and feels that that will be the weapon that he leans on in the later half of the fight to, uh, to take on the victory, Sean. Yeah, well, you know, it's... The most important aspect of fighting. If you neglect it, expect to not have a good time in that nope. cage. Nope. If you neglect, you must expect. Thank you, Don King. Johnny Cocker. Johnny Cocker. Yeah, but Don King does the rhyme. Johnny King's better than uh, he's alive. Uh, also factors into that. You know what's funny mm. is that may have been the winning factor for O.J. Simpson. Because yep. if it don't fit, you must have quit. Yep, the and unbeatable Chewbacca defense. All right, folks, now let's bring out his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Daquan Fuse. You know what the Lockdown Monster won from me? Tree Fitty. Daquan Fuse, 258 pounds and probably cut to get there. He's a big hunk of man. Six foot three, 258. He is one and oh. He is a bump style fighter out of Jupiter Boxing. Uh, home to several former XFN, most notably obviously Sean O'Shea, uh, former XFN 185 pound champion. Yeah, mm -hmm. Shane O'Shea was uh, was a was definitely one of our uh, favorite standouts. To, yeah, favorite to watch, favorite to call. That yeah, yep. I'll tell you, he ain't calling out no 185ers. Daquan Fuse. This guy is a hoss. Well, he might. He just probably won't get any takers. <laughs> he might. He'll just have to be in the parking lot after the show. Because <laughs> he's, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a big fella, 26 years old, out of Riviera Beach, Florida. White belt in jiu-jitsu, but when we see with heavyweights, unless you are a super high level, uh, doesn't always come into play on the ground with these guys. I mean, if you can't hold Derek Lewis down, it ain't because of his technique. Daquan Fuse, everybody here on their feet. The crowd is getting lit, as the children say. And this fight slaps. You know what I mean? I, I, I hear you. Keeping Ladies it real. Main event time gentlemen. now. Of West Palm Beach, Florida. Inside Renegades. And everyone watching worldwide. On Flow Combat. Get ready. It's made of a time.
following is your XFN 32 New Year's Revolution main event of the evening, and it is set in the heavyweight division and brought to you by the law offices of Matthew Glassman and HateJail.com. This bout will be set with three, three minute rounds of action. Introducing first, he is fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands at six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at 241.1 pounds. He enters this fight with a record of zero wins and two losses and fighting out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, Troy Ortiles. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This bumping styles fighter stands at six feet, three inches tall. He weighed in at 258 pounds. He enters this fight with a record of one win and zero losses and fighting out of Jupiter Boxing Club and Riviera Beach, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Daquan. Now you gotta figure for Troy Artiles, the fact that his nickname isn't already heavy artillery means he doesn't want it to be. I feel like that's almost too easy. Uh, yeah, but it might be fitting. And I don't know if uh, Daquan knows this, but he does owe me royalties for having a gorilla on his shorts. Ruh row Gorilla Boy BJJ in the house with ATT Blake at XFN Fights on at Flow Combat at Wesley Golden in there looking sexy. Ladies and gentlemen, main event heavyweights underway. Daquan Fuse takes control of the center. Heavy artillery, Troy Artilles. Good body lock there. Mm. Daquan Fuse ain't scared to throw them hands. Slaying them things. Ooh, ooh, oh, right to the ear. Shots. Man. That's a hard shot, Blake. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to take a lot of those. He cannot get that up. Can't get the leg up. He needs to get the drive up. Get that back straight. Yeah, that, that Daquan's being heavy. He needs to, yeah. he needs to spread out, though. Like he's got a choice. That guy puts his socks on heavy. Man, that is a lot of guy to have laying on top of you throwing punches like that. I'd love to see RTLA start moving. Yeah, he had, it looks like he came in with a with a with a game. Mm. Oh, that's a you hear that meat smack. Yeah. It went crap. It looked like Artilles came in with a plan and it was to wrestle. There and, it is though, secures the takedown. Plenty of time left here. If the game plan is to implement your cardio, Fuse's mouth is already open. The mouthpiece is coming out. If the, oh, nice. Good little Dagestani handcuff there on the far side. Nope, lost it. But, but still, basically mouth there almost for Artiles. The Artiles is leaking already, I think, though. Mm-hmm. Looks like a little cut in the eyes when he's wincing there. Back to the arm, break them back down. I think we're going to see a wrestling 101 clinic here from Artiles. And coming from a high school wrestler, that's what you'd expect. Nope. Only 24 is Troy Artiles. Again, XFN 31, he was in a boxing bout. Now uh, implementing his wrestling game. Man, and if you are Daquan Fuse, you do not want to be here. And you do not want to keep doing that with your mouthpiece. Nope. Nope. Because if Artilles gets the right position, he's going to rain down blows. Yep. And, I, and, oh, and that looks like comes. the right position you uh, aforementioned. Got the, got the Saturday Night right in. Legs are grapevine. Let's him go. Back to it. But I, I'm speaking more along the lines of having a big guy there on top of you and trying to get up without, succeed, without succeeding. That is burning right. the candle at both ends, man. And let me tell you, as a big guy that has had big guys on top of him. Yeah. Nice job, good hips there. Did he get back to half? He Almost. Got back to half. Almost. I'd love to see that right arm get an underhook for Fuse. Artile is not going to allow it. Good job of uh, good old fashioned wrestling there yep. from Troy Artile. Almost a three quarter mount. Mm. There's the full one. Ten seconds left in the round.
Looks like we're going to see round number two. The question will be, what kind of cardio will we see? Troy Artill is looking to use his new road work cardio as a weapon. Daquan Few spent about two minutes on his back, and he looks to be fresh when he gets back to his feet, so no reason to expect him to be tired on the way out. Yeah, Artilly's wearing some of those punches. Yeah, I bet. For a couple weeks, probably. Those were some those were, those were some thunderclaps. Man, look at that eye. Holy cow. He didn't even get a clean punch. Few didn't even get a clean punch. I don't, I don't even, yeah, what, where did that happen? He was punching uh, whenever whenever he had the head on the uh, the head on the head inside single, and he was taking those hammer fists, man. Swelled that eye shut, split him open a little bit there. Not, not, a, not a bad cut. Nothing that uh, Brandon Lewis can't handle. Yeah. Pops just pushed uh, yeah. Riley Boomer away. Yeah, like, let me work. <laughs> let me work, kid. Yeah. Also uh, worth mentioning, when you're a heavyweight and you just put in two minutes, I don't want a guy in my face screaming while I'm trying to breathe. Again, these guys are new to learning mixed martial arts, though. But I'd love to have a little bit more room to breathe if I'm uh, heavy artillery, Troy Artilles here. And again, give Brandon Lewis uh, space to work. Pops is going to get the inswell out. Got the Q-tip on there. The cut will not be a factor, but we'll see if Fuse can open it back up. Both guys looking pretty fresh. Fuse's mouthpiece half hanging out. I think it's just a habit more than anything. That's a bad habit. It is a very bad habit. Artillis, though, hands up, shoulder shrug, chin down, looking to work. Round number two underway. Heavyweight main event here, XFN 32 from Renegades in West Palm Beach, Florida. Back with a crowd on flow combat. Oh, oh, boy, I saw it coming, and so did Troy. Man, those punches ain't no joke. Those things are not clean, and they are still knocking a 240-pound man around. Yeah, that. But this is where Artillis wants to be. Yep. Pressuring into the fence. Not really worrying about the guillotine here from Daquan Few. Just pushing him into the fence, making him bend over. Worried enough about it that he's fighting the hands, though. Yeah, he wasn't to begin with. Now, we, now he is. Which tells me he didn't have the takedown. Now he's go, yeah, he's, he's good on the choke there, but uh, he's going to get crucifixed here if he's not careful. It's Artilles. Nope. Back on the single leg. Shoots him in for the Irish whip there, Sean. Yeah, for sure. Body lock low on the hips, looking to pull the butt off the cage. Switches back to that crotch lock. And Fuse just hitting wherever he can, getting in where he's fitting in. Oh, I do not like to see this nope. out of Artilles. Nope, mouthpiece is on the floor for Troy Artilles. Committed solely to a leg, bent at the waist like a tripod. Not a good situation. Yeah. Mm. Fuse landing good shots here. Artilles is going to want to move. He's going to want to do something besides just sit there holding on to that ankle. Yeah, even pull guard, not stay there and get whooped. Yeah, man, he is taking happening. a lot of shots here. And it's not, it's not like looking for a little Iranian peak out here, maybe? No. Oh, sunset flip coming? Nope. Daquan just stepped out of that like he was taking off yeah. his pants. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Couple shots in the back of the head there from Daquan Fuse. Nope. Oh, I think Wesley Goldman was thinking about stopping this fight before. No, I, uh, I, that or I think it was top warning about the back of the head. Either way, Troy Artile is looking to work, hiding that head. you got to finish that takedown, young man. One minute left. Switches to the other. Oh. Man, those, if you cannot hear those at home, you're missing out. Those are like Rocky on a, on a, on a spare rib in the meat house. Oh, those are some serious thuds, man. Asking for the time. Here's Daquan Fuse. Oh my God, yeah, this is, this is. Artillery needs to do something here. And yeah, something besides this. You're right, they're taking off the pants and Wesley Golden has seen enough. He's gonna step in and stop it. That is all she wrote. Daquan Fuse with a second round. Referee stop it. Troy Artilles, his gas tank was not, not the way we thought it was. Here it is. Uh, man, just a culmination of serious shots there from Daquan Fuse. Man, that was a hard little left hand there, steps away. Excuse me, right hand, I do apologize. Look at Artilles' ribcage. Man, painted. Wow. 
And, and you have to draw the comparison to Derek Lewis for Daquan Fuse on on just the hit him wherever you, wherever you can hit him. That smoke he brings at those punches. Yeah, wherever you can hit him, hit him as hard as you can. Um, man, that was some that was a lot of power sitting here at Cape Side. I could feel it like a firecracker going off. The concussion of those shots. Holy cow! Watch it. Watch his right hand over uh, uh, on the inside here. Switches up. Oh, short little right hand, but it did the damage. A lot of other punches did the damage before that. And Wes Golden uh, steps in, and uh, Troy Artillas will live to fight another day. The man of the hour, Daquan Fuse. A lot to be proud of. Let's give it to Blake Chadwick for our official announcement here in our main event. Sean, it's been a pleasure. As Ladies always. and gentlemen, at 2 minutes 53 seconds of round number two, your winner via TKO in the red corner, Dan Quan I am here with your winner, Mr. Daquan Fuse. Daquan, you hit him wherever you can hit him and as hard as you could. Wore him down. He thought his gas tank would be a weapon to use against you tonight, but you were the one standing tall with the cardio. You're a lot of guy, man. You're a lot of guy to have on top of you. Worldwide flow combat. They're right there in that camera. Dress them, brother. Yeah, um, I did that for my daddy tonight, man. I miss you, man. And uh, Jupiter, man. We're going to keep grinding and keep rocking these fools out. Let's Whoever's go. stupid enough to step in the ring, come see me. Let's go. Let's go. He's a man of few words and a lot of action. Daquan Fuse saying an uh, open challenge to any heavyweight in the Watson, huh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks for the opportunity, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Daquan Fuse. And I'm joined here as well by Mr. Troy Artilles. Troy, you came in once again. Your game plan was to wrestle, obviously, but just not able to secure the takedowns you needed. Sometimes them's the dice. Take a moment. Yeah, it was a good experience. I want to thank Daniel and Everyone who helped me throughout the fight. It was a good learning experience. Just got to get ready for the next one. And it was a good fight. It was a good fight. It was entertaining. Of course, the monumental heavyweight main event here. First fight with a full crowd. And, man, let me take a moment to say that I have missed this. I have missed a crowd. I have missed being in front of a crowd. You guys were as loud as you could be. You guys are a kick-ass crowd. So, you know what? Give yourselves a hand. That was incredible. 